hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how to populate a word template in power automate desktop so please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started in power automate desktop we have word online business category inside that we have an action which is called as populate a microsoft word template so what this action does is it reads a microsoft word template to fill the template fields with the selected dynamic values to generate a word document right so it's like a template where you will populate certain information dynamically right so what i will do is first of all i'll show you the file which i'm going to use to generate the word document so this is the file which i'm going to use to read the data from this excel file and based on this information i will generate the word document i will close this file from the file explorer i will go to home and then i will click on copy path so part of this file will be copied I will minimize the file explorer then I will go to Excel actions from here I will choose launch Excel I will specify the file path I will remove the double quotes and I will disable this option so that it does not appear on the screen it only reads the data i will click on save then i will take a read from excel worksheet and then from here i will say all available values from the excel worksheet and go to advanced and from here i will choose first line of range contains column name and all the data will be stored in the excel data and then what i will do is i will use close excel to close the excel instance right after reading this data what i will do is i will go to loops from here i will choose for each and here i will use this variable which is named as excel data right now the next step is that i need to create a word template so i will open the word application which is microsoft word i have opened the word document then i will go to new and from here i will type certificate You can use any template to populate but now i am using this happy birthday one i will click on create now this document is available i want to modify it so what i will do is i will just select this part and delete it I will delete these templates as well. I want to keep a short one, so I'll just keep that. Now you have to make sure that developer mode is available. So you should have this developer menu. If it does not appear, then you have to go to file. After clicking on file, you have to go to options and this word options will appear. Then you have to click on customize ribbons. And then you have to make sure this developer option is checked. If it is not checked, then, then you have to just check this option and then click on OK. 
and here I want to have a text field so I'll just click on this plain text content control and then I will click on properties I will name it as 2 and then I will click on ok same thing I will do here and I'll name it as from then click on ok this control you have to make sure that this is also a text what I will do is I will just select this and click on content control and name it as gift amount right and once this is done what I will do is I will save this so this must be saved to the word location or any shared location for example SharePoint right so I will just click on save I have saved this word template to the OneDrive now I will click on close now what I will do is I will go to word and from here I will choose populate a word template then you have to click on connection reference to make sure that there is a connection reference created if not then you need to create it you can see here that a connection reference is already created if it is not created then you have to click on add new connection reference and click create new after this it will give you a dialog box to enter your email id and password where you can authenticate yourself and once the connection is created this check mark will be available now I will click on OK from here I have to choose OneDrive for business and now I will choose now I will choose OneDrive and here I have to navigate to the folder where I have given the word template now here I have navigated to the folder which is word template and inside that that template which we created has been saved as happy birthday dot docx right now here you can see that we have three parameters one is gift amount second is to and third one is from if you remember we had three columns which was gift amount to and from now what I will do is I will use current item so this is a data row inside that I have to give the name so I'll give the column name as gift amount and here I will choose current item column name will be 2 I will just copy it and paste here and here I will name it as from right and then I will click on save once this is done what I will do is I will create a word file as well so I will go to OneDrive for business and from here I will choose create file
and again we have to choose the connection reference here I have to specify the folder path so I have given the folder path as word template I will give the file name as you know from so I will take as current item current item dot docx and in the current item data row we have to choose it for from right so it will give the name of the person who is in the from column and dot docx in the file content i will use response which is create item create file item response so this is a binary data now i will click on save and then i will run the bot now my bot is running it has run the data now it is populating the word template you can see it has populated the word template and created the file now it is going for the second row my bot execution has completed successfully now i will check those documents and now here you can see that I am inside this OneDrive and here you can see that inside the word template folder those documents have been generated I will click and open this file and now here you can see that it has populated the values properly I will close the tab So this is how you can populate a word template using Power Automate Desktop. If you like this video, please click on the like button and please subscribe my YouTube channel. And if you have any question, please post it in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.